big takeaway from Nelson Chamisa's speech in the Citizens' Agenda for Change that was delivered last night. This is what we are going to be looking at today. Hello and welcome to JCTV Africa, where we look at issues that are happening around Africa and Zimbabwe in particular, especially looking at the by-elections that are coming and the 2023 elections that are beckoning. Today we are looking at the, the speech that was done by the President of the Citizens Coalition for Change, Nelson Chamisa. What are the big takeaways from his speech? Obviously, the speech was well prepared and it was addressing the issues that are happening. The first one being the issue of Zeke's impartiality. Why is it that there are ghost voters or residents where people are found, where we know that this place does not have someone that stays there? like the issue of what happened in Copacabana, some in Shinoi Street, all these addresses that cannot constitute a place of residence, but you find many voters there. This is worrying, especially looking at the previous encounters with Zek. One that cannot escape your mind is the one that happened in 2008, where it took three months for them to announce the result, only to come out and say that, mm, we couldn't find a winner. They have to be a runoff. The next takeaway was the issue of citizens uniting and making sure that they participate in everything. The issue of participation of citizens in the thick of things is very important. I'll give you, for example, a lot of the office bearers, be it a councillor, be it a member of parliament, most of them, once they are elected into power, they leave the place or the constituents which they are serving and they go and live in affluent places. This is a big problem, not only to, to Zimbabwe, but to a lot of places in Africa where you find office bearers, they are out of touch with the reality of the people that they are serving. If there is a best pipe in the area, it will take days or sometimes weeks for the member of parliament or the councillor in that area to know what is happening. Or if there is load shedding in the area, it will take some time for the councillor or the MP to understand what is happening in the area or the times when the load shedding is happening. And they cannot address these issues. That's why you always find that service delivery is a problem in many places so that is where it is important for citizens to have that agreement with the office bearers whereby office bearers are taking orders from the citizens who voted them in this is how it should be if nelson chamisa takes this stance once he's voted in that will be a big big change in how politics is done in africa then the last thing is the diaspora vote most of the people that are living in the diaspora that are contributing economically things of Zimbabwe, it is said that over $1.4 billion was remitted in Zimbabwe. This is through official channels. What about that which goes through, is said that somebody goes in with hard cash or somebody goes in with assets. So these constituents of people plays a big role in the economy of Zimbabwe and it should be considered in the diaspora vote. Is our government willing to do that? Is this something that we're going to see in the 2023 election? If that happens, that will be a huge relief and it will be a great step in the right direction in the politics of our country. This is the three things that I managed to pick in Nelson Chamisa's speech and I believe he's touching the right notes. What do you think about his speech? To some, they think that he was just waffling and it's just one of those speeches that inspires people and gives them hope. Yet, in reality, it doesn't happen. I also hope it happens. I also hope that those grievances that is raising, they can be looked at and they can be addressed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. In the meantime, please subscribe and follow our Facebook page, JCTV Africa. Ciao, ciao.